Hey everybody, this is my experimental deep sand bed tank and I get asked questions about it a lot, I get asked for updates a lot and so tonight we're going to go ahead and do an update although I'm afraid there's not a lot to tell you about, not a whole lot changed in here or much is going on but it has been just about six months now, a little shy of six months but we're almost more or less as far as I'm concerned at that six month point and I have not seen any indication whatsoever that any kind of denitrification or anything is going on. This simply seems to be functioning like any other normal uh, aquarium I've got. Again, I just I don't know what else to update you on. Everything is doing fine. All the fish look good. I'm doing fairly regular water changes. I am kind of allowing the... Uh, nitrates to accumulate in this tank. I don't do very frequent water changes, but I do stay on top of it occasionally. I don't want the tank to go sour just because it's sitting here and I'm trying to let that uh, gravel bed establish. But it is a fairly deep gravel bed. We're about four inches deep, three and a half to four inches deep. And I do not disturb it. I don't get in there and root around in it. I don't do any kind of uh, gravel vacuuming. That is all natural riverbed gravel that I collected from the stream. Uh, likewise with those rocks. Those rocks, well, those rocks were here uh, in my basement in the fish room when I set the tank up, but they are rocks I've collected myself here. So this is about as natural as you can get. It's just river sand, river gravel, and some local rocks. Uh, even the fish in there are local fish with the exception of these four yo-yo uh, loaches. They are getting about large enough now that I really feel like I could safely put them in my other tank. I'm sure my um, striped Raphael catfish will not be gobbling up on loaches that size at this point. But they've been in this tank for so long now, I just kind of see them as part of this tank. And it would really be kind of weird to get in there and take them out. So I'm probably going to wind up just leaving them in this tank until uh, I've concluded what I've just, you know, come to whatever conclusions I'm going to come to. And again... I've said all along that we had to wait till we got to this point, you know, the six month point before we could even really begin to decide whether or not the deep sand bed was making any kind of a difference or not. So I'm not jumping to any conclusions yet. I'm not wrapping it up or giving you any final thoughts or anything. I'm simply saying that we're at the six month point and so far I've not seen anything to indicate that anything is happening in here other than what I would expect to happen in a bare bottom tank or a, you know, a half an inch of gravel, an inch of gravel in the bottom of the tank, like a basic setup. So we'll give it a few more months. You know, I'm not going to jump the gun on this. Like I said, I'm not going to do this too quickly, um, but we will uh, wait and see. But as of yet, there's your update. Not a whole lot going on, but everything else is still just kind of ticking over and functioning uh, just fine. So, oh, I will mention one last thing is I did um, come in here and find that filter seized up again. I don't know what it is about that filter, but that filter seizes up occasionally. And when it does, you know, it gets warm and then all the water evaporates out of it. And I wind up with a dry filter. And because of the power head I've got installed back there that is a little 80 gallon per hour power head swirling the water around in the tank I've not had any issues with the water clouding up or anything it was uh yesterday I noticed the filter had stopped again and it had been stopped for long enough that the you know the filter had dried out so it had probably been stopped for about a day and the inside of the filter the cartridge kind of smelled a little off and the filter pad stunk and so I cleaned all that out and got it set up and started again so Again, no issues with cloudy water or anything. I'm sure the tank can take care of itself as far as the, um, you know, the regular nitrogen cycle is concerned. But as far as denitrifying goes, that I have seen no examples uh, or no evidence yet to support that. So there you go. Make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching this one. Don't forget I do a live stream every Friday night and Sunday night at 8 p.m. And I do a private members only live stream every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up for a basic membership and you will get privy to that. Otherwise, thanks for watching this one and I will see you real soon in the next one.